Hey guys, Coach 2K back with another video. And in this video, I'm talking fictional base roster, what the purpose of it is, why I put it together, and how I did it, and then kind of what I have planned for it moving forward. If you're new to the channel, be sure and hit the subscribe button and click the bell to get notified when I upload new videos. And then that way you don't miss any highlights or other NBA 2K videos that I might put together. So uh, what you're looking at here is a roster of completely fictional players. Uh, what I've done is, uh, as a starting point, I've went in and for all the teams throughout the league, I've went in and replaced every real-life player with a created player that I created in the created player feature in NBA 2K. Now, I'm not too worried right now about looks and all that, uh, so uh, this is just a starting point for the league and what I want it to look like in the future. These aren't actually it isn't a completed roster, it's just a place to start. So all these guys here are just kind of placeholders as I think about how I want each team to play and the players that are included on the roster, you know, how I want them to, uh, to look as well. So there's a lot of work to be done yet, but you got to start somewhere. And I thought the best place to start would just to be create a bunch of players and, you know, with the names and, um, you know, how they might look and, you know, some, some uh, you know, the vitals about them, what college they went to, how tall they are, how much they weigh, some, you know, beginning ratings. And then that way, that saves a lot of time in having to kind of brainstorm all those things from scratch. At least you got something to go on. Now, one thing I noticed, too, was that when I use uh, another fictional roster or two, that when I put it into a My League, you know, these teams uh, would, you know, they'd sign players from free agency and inside free agency what some of these other uh, fictional rosters had done is they just put some of these players kind of on an injured status or they made them so old that they would retire in the next year so I thought it was important to also go into the free agent pool and I also went in I replaced all the real free agents with actual uh, uh, fictional players too. So inside here you're going to find these are all fictional guys from the uh, you know the create a player uh, feature. Now a couple things about create a player. I used it because I, I didn't want to have to like think of everybody's you know vitals from the beginning and create players from scratch. Uh, but when you do that every player, none of the players have any badges so uh, they don't have any kind of, um, you know, they're not going to have like alpha dog or, uh, you know, corner specialist. So you can see here all these, if you look at the badges, you can see they're all um, zero. And the other thing about them too is, is that none of the creative players have any uh, signature skills. So they don't have, they're all just generic shot releases and dribble moves based on, you know, what kind of player that they are. So those are something that I'm going to have to customize down the road. But a lot of the hard work has been done in maybe coming up with names, maybe coming up with how tall they are, positions are like it. Here you see this guy's an all-around small forward. This guy's a per premier perimeter threat, a lockdown defender, a rebounding specialist, interior defender. So a lot of the type of players are created there and I can spend a lot of time thinking about how I want to put these teams together. Um, but the downside to the creative player is, is you have to do a lot more of, you know, the work still in moving forward. So I have to figure out how I want these guys to play their, you know, their tendencies to. And, and so there's a lot to still go into the roster, but mainly this is just a place to start so that all the teams have fictional players and all of the free agents do too. So when you put them in a my league, you know, you're not going to get any real players in there. So the purpose of it is just kind of a starting point and I use the create a player function to, to create all these players and just a couple tips about that what I kind of did was I created 15 at a time and then I just replaced one roster and then once I had those guys added to the roster then I delete those 15 and start with 15 more until I got through all 30 teams and then when I was in free agency what I did is I just created 10 at a time and I replaced them in there and uh, as I did that um, you know, I got rid of all the players uh, from the whole roster. Now, I didn't do the international players. I didn't do the classic players. So you're still going to find those people in the roster. 
but my plan is here once you know I could create an NBA fantasy draft and I could just collect from these teams and from the free agents just in the regular NBA so anyway that's the second step I took you know I'll give some thought to what I want to do next in completing this fictional roster you got any questions about what I'm doing or if you have any feedback on how to create a base roster or what I ought to do moving forward or what you'd like to see or anything about this concept put them in the comments down below and I'll be sure to interact with you and kind of figure out you know uh, what would be the best way to move forward so in the meantime uh, I'm coach 2k and I'll see you on the court